July 27, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 519 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Despite claims of numerous vehicles destroyed, the only showing Kremlin mouthpieces gave of certain gains were Ukrainian gains around Robotyne and Amorkioli. Ukraine has been fighting the first line of defense since they started any counter-attack, but they have today reached the first line of pre-planned field fortifications. Dnieper Line A recent count of visual losses of artillery by unknown sources appear to show the Kremlin actually has destroyed more cannon in this area than Ukraine. Even if that is correct, Moscow's army has fired only 243 shells from artillery, rocket launchers, UAV and planes in the last 24 hours. While this is far less than other fronts and than in the past, it is worth remembering that these were launched across 40 different attacks in the county, keeping the area dangerous for civilians. Zaporizhia Front Ukraine has made advance against and to the first obstacle line laid by the BAR teams at Robotyne. Moscow mouthpieces are gleefully claiming huge losses for Ukraine, but what started as a claimed 80 vehicles destroyed, last checked was roughly four vehicles in an unknown condition with Ukraine holding the ground near where the vehicles were imaged. Ukraine and Russian mouthpieces have announced Ukraine has cleared the Kremlin's troops from Staromyorsky. East Front, Donetsk. The Kremlin continues to send wave after wave of Chechnyans and prisoners across this front. However, in the last day, only two waves of Mobiks were reported sent at Mariinka and on the south side of Avdiivka. Bakhmut area. After clarification of gains at Andiivka and Kashivka, there are reports that the Kremlin may be ordering a withdrawal from those villages. At least four artillery duels in the last 24 hours in this small section alone. Moscow's forces made attacks in three directions west of Bakhmut, no line changes reported by either side. Oskol border front. Very heavy fighting continues west of Kovalivka. Ukraine command has claimed they have stalled most of the attack, while Russian mouthpieces claim the attack has shifted to parallel expansion of the pocket. Northern border. A stray drone was found in a fence in the north of Russia's Voronish district. Shelling continues to target civilian homes and businesses. Black Sea. The current missile carriers of the Russian Navy are submarines, while their navy currently keeps 15 small surface craft on patrol. Ukraine shot down eight shard drones at Odessa. Ukraine world related. China has been found to have sent Russia millions in weapons and military gear. Vlad and the gang are meeting with African nations in Prigozhin's hotel in St. Petersburg, where Prigozhin himself has been pictured. Just the way the Russian Air Force likes it. Russian pilots prove that their helicopters have at least one certainly good use, cutting timber. Now, if only any were likely to be left once Ukraine is done with Russia. The US has made yet another claim that Abrams are going to be in Ukraine, this time by September, hopefully just in time to be the first to roll to the catch bridge. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.